Well, hello everybody. It's me, Kelly, obviously, since you're watching my video. Today I wanted to share a project I found on the Graphics Fairy. Um, I will have the link in the description below, right there, um, to show you how easy this is. This is a 2019 or any year you want to do this calendar. Uh, they call it a CD case calendar which is really really awesome um, in the link that I show you you'll be able to find the PDF link for these graphics okay but I want to show you how to do this so let's get started first thing you want to do after printing out your graphics okay is to get either a CD case that you're not using anymore or you can even buy one. Now this um, is a CD case I'm not using because when I buy my CDs I always put them in a different container because it saves space. So but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the paper paraphernalia. Now one thing is some CD cases have this extra plastic piece in here. Okay, that will come out. All right, I found if you're not using the regular plain jeweled cases, let me see if I can find one real quick. You know, the kind that you buy at your local store. Let me see, I got one right here. I just got to reach it. Oh, no, that's not it. Um, here we go. You know, the ones that come like this already. I have some, but I also have a bunch of these that I'm not using. Now I found when I tried to use one with this extra plastic thing in here, it didn't work. But this will come out. Uh, the last one came out a lot easier, but I know this one will too. So yes, it's a Patsy Klein CD case. Let me see where it, there it is. Okay, see this just pops right out. Now, the reason I pop that out, it may work if you don't pop it out, but I found it works easier if you do. So then you're left with just that. Very, very carefully separate them. You don't want to break the uh, little tabs off. Because if you do, okay, you have to be very, very careful when you do this. There we go. Okay, see, I pulled it apart just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over one side like that and then put them back together. Come on. There you go. That one snapped in and that one snapped in. Reason being is when you raise it, actually it's going to be this way. When you raise it, you've got your stand. See how that works? And it stands all by itself. Now, the reason I flipped it over is this side has the lip, and that'll make it difficult to put the uh, calendar pages on it. This side doesn't have a lip. It's just a really, it's just a thin piece of plastic. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to put this aside for just a minute. All right, so after you've printed out your computer graphics, now, these graphics at Graphic Fairy that I've linked below are already measured out perfectly for CD cases, okay? Take these, put them in the trash. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these apart. Now, the key to this is do not cut the top part of this off, all right? You'll need that. Just cut the sides, the bottom, and then separate them in the middle. I like this because the measurements are already done. Okay. Remember, do not cut the top. Okay. 
you want to leave that top. Now if you're doing this with the CD case and not something else, um, the measurements I'm going to tell you will probably not be you know, specific to your needs. But these measurements are specifically for the CD case. So after you've got these cut out, okay, get out your scoreboard. You want to take this long ways where the bottom of this is at zero on your scoreboard, flip it over. Okay. Then you score it at five and five eighths, which is that one tick just past five and a half. Okay. Score that. And then one tick over, which will put you at five and three quarters, score it there. So you've got an eighth of an inch score right here. Now the video, I don't, I don't believe says to do that second score, but when I was putting mine together, I found that it laid a lot easier with this little bitty fold here. All right. So let's do the same with this one. So we'll go five and five eighths, which is one tick past five and a half. Okay, and then five and three quarters, which is obviously. All right, and you do this with all 12, all 12 months. I'm not gonna do the all 12 months because I already finished one and I gave it to my dad for his birthday. So, now I found to do the lowest one, the first score that you did first is a lot easier. And the reason I flipped it is because to me it's easier to fold into the score as opposed to against the score. So, and then I just use my fingernails to, you know, and if you don't want, if you don't have fingernails, you can use your bone folder and just, you know, run it across. And then fold up the second one. So you've got that little lip. You see that right there? Then you take this and you set it over and you've got your calendar, your desktop, whatever calendar you're using. When you do the rest of them, this little pad right here in the back is perfect for holding the extras that, um, you know, the extra months that you don't have on display just yet. See, I did that backwards. I should have folded the bottom one first. It's just, for some reason, it's easier to get these folded if you do the bottom one first. You know, the first score you made, and then the second one. Okay. Alrighty. So we've got, well, March is coming up, so we'll put March up here. And we'll put April and the rest of them in the back. You see how that holds that perfectly in there? Right there? Just like that. And you put all the rest of them in there as well. And you've got your desktop calendar. Now what I did on the one for my dad's is just to give it a little bit of oomph. Um, I took some washi tape. Some really thin washi tape. So I'll put these aside. Uh, where did it go? Okay, I used, I have this purple, uh, it's like a, a dusty purple. Um, yeah, it fell apart. Uh, washi tape, and it's really thin. You know, it's probably an eighth of an inch. Yeah, it's an eighth of an inch wide. And then on the edges, right here, I just measured. and I cut two pieces because the measurements are pretty on the dot you don't need a very wide piece now you can go all you know crazy and and paint your CD case or just get a jeweled one that has the beautiful colors on it um, whatever you want to do 
All right, so this, I'm going to get out my glue, because I never trust the sticky on a sticker, especially washi tape. And this isn't going to be under some, you know, heavy-duty, uh, everyday use. It's just going to be something that sits on the desk and looks pretty. All right. So, well, that's going to work. All right. Well, let's just hold it there for a minute. And I'm going to take this and put a small bead of glue all the way down. Not a whole lot. Don't need a whole lot. Just need something to help the sticky on the washi tape. And then I lined the very, very edge all the way up to, oops, there we go. See, just one skinny little edge. That came out just a little bit, so let me move that. And of course, if you have, you know, run over, then obviously you trim it. And then I did the second, or the same with the second. Now this is a really easy craft. I think altogether this took me maybe 30, 35 minutes. And that was because it was the first one I did. I'm sure, you know, these make great gifts for teachers, for, you know, your aunt, your whoever, and it's personalized, you know? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on this side. Now all this does is just give the edge a little bit of sparkle on this one. You know, like I said, if you wanted to do something else or paint or, you know, put a decorative, uh, washi tape on it you know that's cool it's whatever your taste is me I have an unrolled uh, spool of um, washi tape that I wanted to <sighs> there we go now you see why I wanted to do the double score and not just fold it over once and there we go we've got our 2019 CD case calendar and all your spares will go in back here. And it'd make a great gift. You see how it gives it a little bit of oomph on the sides? Not much. And you can ink the edges. You can stamp on it. You know, do whatever you want. But this is just a rough idea. Um, a basic plan to expand your conscience. Not your consciousness. Durr, to expand your imagination. That's the word. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, so I hope you like it. And on that note, always remind, always remember to find the humor in life. If not, life sucks. And I want everybody to have a great day. God bless. Bye.